Hi there! Today we will uh, see how to make uh, six Im images, how to place them on one slide, uh, how to each images should be big enough and noticeable, and also insert headline in big bold letters. This is a task challenge from the real, uh, real order that I made for my client. So what do we need? We need a um, uh, editable form of monitor or tablet, something like that, which you can edit. You can take it from any professional PowerPoint template or or make it by yourself. Next, next thing that we need is uh, six pictures. Here they are all in order and all made in one size. I will show you how to make them one size uh, later in this video. Uh, here are the original size, they are different in length, as you see in width. And uh, I made them uh, one size in height. Here I will show you how to place them uh, in, in uh, equal intervals and how to align them. Here I already have uh, an align function on my uh, front panel, but you can find it here in the format. You see a line left, a line center. We need a line middle and distribute horizontally. Here you go. Now you should group them. The combination uh, of short key is Ctrl G for grouping. So now we can resize them as we wish. Next thing we make a blank slide. To resize uh, the slide on the work uh, screen, you should hit combination of short keys. Control and scroll your mouse. Okay, we put a background picture, resize it so its height will be the, si the size of the slide, slide's height. Next, you crop it to the slide's height and width. How I did and Align it to the slide in the middle and the center, so it's strictly the size of the slide and placed in the middle and the center. Next, what we do is inserting a rectangle, make it black with no outline, black fill with no, no outline and make it transparent. In about 47%. Okay, take your monitor, copy it, Ctrl C, and paste it. Ctrl V. Next, let's make it feel a um, uh, feel of gray color. I think it beautiful looks looks beautiful and white shape outline. Next we should make a rectangle of the si uh, in the size of the screen of our monitor. Get rid of the borders. Copy the rectangle once more and place it strictly on the top of the first rectangle. So now we have two rectangles. We don't see them, 
uh, we, we see only one blue rectangle because the other is strictly under the first one. Let's work with the layers. Now we can see the layers. Here are five total. We turn off the monitor and we cut the window off in the uh, shadow and we, we cut the window with uh, on the background picture now by subtracting all right so now we have only three layers and ready to proceed. We can put in the headline of the slide and place it in the center of the slide. Change the font, change the color and size of the font and place it in the center of the slide. In the middle. All right. Now we can see how it looks. The slide without the slide template without our sliders. Now we have sliders. We put them as a little one, the thumbnail slider, underneath our monitor. That ones without um, resizing yet, uh, they have different widths and gaps between pictures. The pictures are grouped and aligned. So now to make an effect of never ending uh, movement you know, of animation, we should duplicate them Ctrl D or Ctrl Copy Ctrl V and place them so the gap between uh, the first and the second group uh, pictures are the same length than that between uh, that the gap between each picture in the group at pictures. Now we group them and add an animation of path from left to right. And the main thing here, you should press the shift key, so it will be moved only to the right. And the main point here is to place the picture strictly with animation on the picture below. Please align it properly, it's very important, so when the animation will be moving, it will not make a jump. Now we get rid of smooth start and smooth end and repeat press it, uh, until end of slide and make five seconds. Let's see what we have. Here it is. I think it's good. 
but we have to add a speed at uh, uh, reduce the speed a little now it's better it looks way better okay next thing that we do we are aligning all pictures how we do them are uh, the same length and the same the same height and width we copy the background with the window cut from it and make duplication of it and place one on another strictly one on another and take a picture we'll take a picture that that have the significantly different width place it underneath both of these figures and look at the window how I prefer it, uh, it should look here we go and I repeat action with the other pictures like this to select two pictures at once you should press and hold the shift key and click on your mouse on the both objects okay like this so you do everything with all these pictures and you will get the pictures of the same height, height and width you line them properly in the middle and with help of the smart guidelines you place them strictly one to one to one another if you want sure if you want it it could be an idea for another slider but what we have to do here is to animate each picture on its own so we ungroup them to ungroup the object you should press a key a short keys uh, grow, uh, shift ctrl and g now you have to make them one size with the size of the monitor we check the order uh, uh, that will be the same order than in the slide and uh, in the little slide beneath and we now work with layers again You can see that all pictures are underneath all other layers. Now we have to play them. So the last picture will be the first. The, the last picture will be the upper picture in the list and here we go we have to resize them how to make it we place the rectangle the size of uh, the monitor size with the size of the screen in the monitor and see it's enough to copy only the width or the height and select all images 
and place this width. Width place the width, and here we have all them one size approximately. Yes, so we place the first picture inside. It's not uh, not necessary to align it for now. I will show you how to make it later. Here, the first picture will be appear with a zoom animation, and the following pictures, all of them, will be uh, with a fly-in animation. All of them will fly in, fly in. Okay. Now we have to make them all at. Always previous, go always previous. Let's um, increase a duration time 0 0.75. Let's select all of the images and align them in the middle and in the center and while holding all of them, we can place them strictly in the screen of our monitor. Now let us make them with a delay, so each of them will go after another on a relevant intervals of time. How to select several objects? Way is the same to hold Ctrl key and to select objects with the uh, left uh, click of your mouse. And here we go. What is wrong? The wrong is the direction of a fly-in animation. I wanted to make it to flow from left to right. So we select the images and make the different direction. All right. Now it should be the same as in the preview. Right, from the right to left and the beneath the slider beneath goes from the left to right. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe for my channel for other tutorial.